Welcome to the event recap for the 2022 Catch and Cook for a Healthy Ocean competition. This year was crazy remarkable. We had like 250 spectators throughout the day. We had over $25,000 in sponsored prizes. And when we first announced the event, all competitor slots sold out in less than a day. Even more incredible than that were some of the insane dishes that were presented to the judges. The first place dish was only 13 points away from a perfect score of 345, and we asked the judges to judge honestly. So the competition format is quite different from the typical Spiro competitions. Uh, it's a catch and cook event at its core, and the idea here is to encourage folks, whether you're a diver or just a home cook or somebody that likes to take walks on the beach, to do so while being mindful of our ocean environment. We created this event to invite spear fishermen to care less about the size of the fish or how many fish they can shoot and encourage them to really focus more on the use of the fish itself as a wild food resource. Every diver showed up at the 6 a.m. safety briefing and then was released to go spearfish uh, wherever they wanted and the goal was to go get the seafood ingredients quickly and then get back as soon as possible to start cooking your meal because if you were planning to win you're going to need as much time as possible. Diving itself is super adventurous. You're scrambling down cliffs and you're holding your breath while you're several stories underwater. However, the adventure only begins at the ocean because you can also get pretty adventurous in the cooking of the meal too. This event encouraged people to try new ingredients, like kelp, or a new species of fish, or different limpets. The ocean's full of ingredients if you know where to look. And then cooking the meal is just as fun. Deep diving into your new culinary techniques, or new recipes, and new ingredients. Some of the competitors had recipes that were made entirely of wild ingredients or stuff that they'd grown in their gardens or forged in the wild. It was amazing to see homemade sea salt, people grinding maza for tortillas, or fermenting their own wines for cooking. It was pretty incredible to watch the level of cooking this year. It was seriously mind-blowing. Meanwhile, the public was invited to participate in the event on several different levels. One of them was we had a ton of people join in our coastal cleanup. We had a separate epic prize package for the folks that participated uh, which included ocean art, trophy, wine, some surfer parkas, and a crazy generous thousand dollar gift card to Deachins and Big Sur. Overall, something like a hundred gallons of trash was removed that day. Another aspect of the event was the purple urchin removal effort. Uh, purple urchins are crazy overpopulated and the urchin barrens now replace what were once massive kelp forests out there. So we assembled yet another epic prize package with the help of our many sponsors that could be won specifically by removing your limit of purple urchins. You could go and get your limit whether you were competing or not in the event, and we had all kinds of people participate from, from youth that dove in the shallows uh, to several of the competitors and just divers that weren't able to make it into the competition. And then to bring the vent full circle, all of the fish waste, all of the unused purple urchin, um, they were taken to a local farm and turned into fertilizer, which is awesome. So what kind of catch and cook recap video would this be if we didn't show some of the food that was made? These guys absolutely stretched their culinary limits and came up with just incredible dishes. Uh, Watching the creativity and the imagination unfold was a huge testament that showed just what this event's all about. It's a focus on the fish as food. Another thing that sets this event apart is while well, that it is a competition, even the competitors got to walk around and laugh and try each other's food and it was kind of more of a community potluck than anything else. And while it seems like there's still so much to share about everything that happened, um, I just want to make sure that we take a moment and thank our event partner, uh, the nonprofit Backcountry Hunters and Anglers. It was awesome to be able to raise money and know that it's going towards all the amazing work they do to ensure that we continue to have access to public fishing and hunting areas. I would strongly recommend and encourage that you guys um, join one of their local chapters near you. They're all across North America. It was also their idea to record the data that came in from all the fish taken by competitors as a form of citizen science and then get that recorded. 
A very special and specific thanks also to Messermeister, the presenting sponsor of the event. Um, it feels amazing knowing that a company that big and reputable would endorse an event like this. So thank you to them. We had a huge amount of sponsors this year, and each one of them contributed to the success of this event with incredible generosity. So thank you guys so much, and we definitely look forward to your participation next year. Thank you lastly, and firstly, to everybody that showed up, competed, they bought raffle tickets, all the volunteers that came, the folks that did the photography and videography, and everybody that enjoyed the food. Um, definitely start planning for the next Catch and Cook competition, but until then, uh, I'll leave some links in the video description below so that you can read the articles uh, in the various magazines written about the events or listen to the podcasts we did that talk about the history of the event and the focus of Finn and Forge in general. Get up there,